we've reached a stage where we think you can shift the balance away from state mandation, away from banning certain courses of action, compelling certain courses of action, uh, in favour of, of, of encouraging persons. Is there, is there a danger, we, is there a risk that we lose the early warning signs by getting rid of free testing? I don't want to, I want to make sure that we have a capability to spot stuff and to snap back up as fast as, as we, as we what need does to. That, what does that mean, capability? I think we, we, need, we need resilience, but we don't need to keep, for instance, on testing, uh, we don't need to keep spending at a rate of two billion pounds a month, which is what we were doing in, in January. But how are we going to spot it if we're not testing? Because we will be testing uh, at a much lower level, but you know, I'm afraid what we can't do is continue with the, uh, the as, as the number of cases uh, diminishes and uh, certainly the number of, of patients in hospital is, is thankfully uh, coming down now, the number of cases in, in ICU certainly way, way down, uh, we're, in a different, we're in a different world.